With Spring Pines is one of the newest, if not the newest, community being built in Lano Lakes. Located just north of Tampa, residents out there are going to have a great access to all that Tampa has to offer, including the best beaches in the country. But you don't have the crowds in Land Lakes. It's a little more relaxed. I'm going to take a look at Whispering Pines and let's see what they're doing. Welcome to our YouTube channel where we talk about real estate here in the Tampa Bay area and life in the Tampa Bay area. My name is Mike Lavoie. If you're thinking about moving to Tampa area, we would love to talk to you. Land Lakes is conveniently located just north of Tampa in the heart of the Tampa Bay area. It makes it an ideal location for those who want to enjoy the best of both worlds, the relaxed suburban lifestyle of Land Lakes, and the vibrant energy you can find in Tampa. Land Lakes is kind of an eclectic mix of homes and neighborhoods. If your dream is to live on a lake, no worries. There are over 100 lakes in and around Land Lakes. Land Lakes, get it? You're into horses? Well, there are plenty of equestrian friendly communities in Land Lakes. Looking to be a little more isolated? A large lot maybe, maybe acreage? That can, that can be had too. And of course there are several new large master planned communities. Whispering Pines is one of the latest. Tampa is a major city with a rich cultural scene, world class museums, and a thriving nightlife. It's home to some of the Florida's best popular attractions like Wish Gardens. The Florida Aquarium. And historic Ybor City. And just a short drive west, about 45 minutes of Land Lakes, is Clearwater Beach, one of the most beautiful beaches in Florida. Crystal clear water, pottery white sand, and a lively atmosphere. Clearwater Beach is a must-visit destination for locals and tourists alike. But despite of its proximity to these major attractions, Land Lakes retains its small-town charm, a relaxed vibe. It is a peaceful escape from the hustle and bustle of the city. Beautiful lakes, a lot of parks, and friendly residents who make you feel right at home. Land Lakes is not what I would consider a major metropolitan area. Downtown Land Lakes has a post office, a hardware store, and that's pretty much it. Besides the number of lakes in the area, Land Lakes' other claim to fame is that it was the movie set for the movie Edward Scissor's Hands, I think it was in 1980, something like that. It was filmed in a subdivision out there called Carpenter's Run. From Tim Burton comes the most incredible tale of a most unusual character, Edward Scissor Hands. Other than that, it's a very rural area. There are several very good restaurants, some older establishments like Ukulele Brands, which overlooks East Lake, East Lake Ellis. Our favorite barbecue place in the area is Hungry Harry's. You get a really good Cuban sandwich over at Larry's Deli. There are a couple of really good pizza places, a sprinkling of uh, microbreweries. In the Loop is one of our favorites. It has a great outdoor patio. It's overlooking uh, Lake Pageant, I believe it is. And one of the area's newest sports bar, Stonewater Grill. It's over on Bell Lake early, they get busy, but they do have valet parking. The city itself is very spread out, covering about 2,100 square miles. has a population of about 35,000 people. With that population, it has a population density of 1,840 people per square mile. Compare that to 3,750 per square mile in neighboring Carrollwood just a little more spread out. With that, there are several parks with literally miles of biking and walking trails, canoeing, paddleboarding, kayaking. There, the, the Land Lakes Recreation Complex has a variety of, uh, of amenities. I mean, tennis courts, indoor volleyball, swimming pools, 
basketball, softball fields, uh, football and soccer fields, uh, just about everything for our, that you want to want to have. I mean, our kids played softball and had swim meets there. Our grandson now plays flag football there. Let's just say that after spending numerous weekends there with the kids, Paul and I know the area very well. Shopping on the other hand, well, let's just say it's not abundant. There is the local Piggly Wiggly and a couple of public grocery stores. If you like antiques or unusual, you know, some people call it eclectic shopping, you're in luck. There are a few locally owned shops that you're going to love. However, if you want a major shopping, you're going to need to leave Land O'Lakes. Okay, it's only seven miles to Tampa Premium Outlet. Got, I don't know, a couple hundred stores. The area's Costco, I'm guessing uh, 20, 25 restaurants, entertainment centers. And my favorite stop is the Cigar Internationals. Uh, about, what is it, two miles farther is the shops at Wiregrass with another hundred or so stores, a couple of dozen restaurants. The Grove out in Wesley Chapel is another big box, big box mall. It has I don't know, several restaurants, a couple of sports bars, a bistro movie theater, and a container park called The Crate, which is more shopping and more eating. It, uh, the Crate is a locally owned businesses that have converted 94 shipping containers into 29 restaurants and 17 retail shops. It's different. Land O'Lakes has not had the massive growth that other areas like Wesley Chapel have had. It is sprinkled with several established communities like Oakstead or Dupree Lakes. We got Lake Pageant Estates, several others. Over the last several months, Lennar has been busy with the new sections of Connerton. They've been putting up towns at Lake, How Le Le towns at Lake Thomas. The other large builder in the area is Pulte Homes. Their new communities include Arden Preserves, Bexley and Del Webb Bexley, and Whispering Pines. Let's take a look at Whispering Pines. Whispering Pines is a gated Pulte home project. Unlike a lot of its contemporaries, which have you know five or six builders, Whispering Pines is gonna be smaller, less crowded, more manageable. The plan is to have 330 homes when it's completed. And when you compare that with say uh, Bexley, with over 11,000 homes and 600 apartments, it's gonna be very small. With that, you get lower operating costs, AKA HOA and CDD fees. I have a video explaining CDD fees. The link is in the comments section down below. Watch it later. The monthly HOA at West Spring Pines is gonna be $107, and that includes high-speed internet and a TV package. The CDD is $1,664 per year. Again, compare that to Bexley. A little bit it's a little bit lower i mean about half whispering pines is getting back into the way communities were being built single builder smaller in scale a more relaxed lifestyle the other sea change is that buyers now have options if you were trying to buy a home over the last couple three years you the buyer the one who was stroking the check you just, to buy the house didn't have options buyers were selling homes at what was called as is the builder picked both the interior and the exterior finishes. You, the cat with the mortgage, bought it as it was planned by the builders, or you didn't buy it. That sales rep had 20 or 25 people landing, standing in line behind you that gonna buy it and will pay over what the builder was asking. It's a different world now. Pulte and a few others are back to selling homes to be built. All that means is that now you pick the finishes at the design center. You can make the structural changes. Make that kitchen upgrade that, that you want. Get rid of that stupid soaking tub that no one uses anyhow and put in a super shower. Imagine this, you get to pick the lot. It's amazing. Whispering Pines is one of the few communities that with two be built homes. So what are they building? Whispering Pines has three series of homes. The Regal series on 40 foot lots, Signature series on 50 foot lots, and the Elite series on, guess it, 60 foot lots. Let's cover pricing for a minute. Base prices we're gonna talk about are for the base home. To that, you need to add the lot premium. That premium is gonna vary between $10,000 for an interior lot, so that backs up to another home. If you wanna look out over the waterfront, that premium is gonna be a little bit higher. It's gonna be around $45,000. The last cost you're going to add is gonna be the options that you add. And that number could be large, depending on what you put in there. It is also the only number you have control over. There are 14 different models of homes available, both single and two-story. Homes are going to vary between 1,580 square feet, uh, the Dalen, which has four bedrooms and two baths, 
and has a price has a base price of $385,000 with the largest model the Roseland at 4200 square about 4200 square feet two stories and remember I talked about options the Roseland can have up to five bedrooms five baths and a three car three car garage Prices on the Roslyn start just under $658,000 and go up with lot selection and whatever you put on the, on the, on the, uh, whatever you add to it at the Design Center. I have a video on not spending too much money at the Design Center. The link is in the comment section below. Watch it later also. All three series have the same basic features. LED lighting, stainless steel appliances in the kitchen, quartz, uh, quartz countertops, smart home package, uh, low E dual pane vinyl windows, an irrigation system with grass that you get to mow. Depending on what series you choose, there are some standard upgrades like the Signature Series and the Elite Series have, uh, the, for example, have a foot front doors and upgraded master bathrooms, higher ceilings on both the first and second floor. There are three models on display, one from each series. Let's go take a look at the inside. From the Regal Series, this is the 2615 square foot Talon. Inside the front door is a huge open living area. A full bath. And a guest room. Upstairs, you're going to find a loft. A couple of bedrooms are up here. A second bath. The master bath and bedroom. The other model I want to go through is the Easley. There are two versions of this model, the Easley and the Easley Grand. This particular model is the Easley Grand. The difference is Easley. Get it? Made a little pun. Okay, never mind. The difference is the second floor of the Grand. It adds about 1,500 square feet. As you come in the front door, on the right are two of the five bedrooms and a full bath. Farther in is a den, that could be an office, library. The dining room is a little farther down the hall. Adjoining that is the great room and kitchen. You've got quartz countertops, stainless steel appliances, a huge pantry. Off the great room is the master bath and bedroom. What you got again, quartz countertops. A huge walk-in shower with dual heads. Heading upstairs is the huge loft area. An entertainment room. Two more bedrooms and a full bath. The Easley Grand is capable of six bedrooms and five and a half baths and a three car garage. Prices of the Easley start just south of $550,000 and go up with lot and option prices. Easley Grand starts closer to $670,000 and goes up again with lot and options. But 
you get to pick the options. Not only the design center, but structural as well. I mean, you've got options like sliding pocket doors off the great room and sliders off the master bedroom out to the cover lanai and future pool, which is going to need a pool bath. That can be added as well. You can really customize this home without paying for a fully customized home. Amenities at Whisper Spine are going to include a resort style pool with a beach entry, splash buckets for the kids, cabanas, grilling area for social events, dog parks for both large and small dogs, and a playground. Right now they have some great financing options as well as some incentives. If you'd like to talk about them, you could, we would too. Call us at 813-864-6370 or you can text us at that number as well. Thanks for watching. Go make it a great day.